Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Elena and this is The Organized Money. This channel is all about how to adult. So we do videos on planning, productivity, organization, and managing money. If that interests you, then make sure that you click that subscribe button as I would love for you to be a part of our little family. So today's video is going to be all on my favorite pins. I always get a bunch of questions, people asking me about the pins that I keep on my desk and this organizer. So I will have a link in the description box to everything that I talk about in this video. The first pin that I'm going to pull out is the Papermate Ink Joy Gel Pin. This pin writes so smooth and my favorite place to use it is in my bullet journal. Now the next one actually is not a pen, it is a highlighter. This is the mild liner. And I really like to use this in my bullet journal and in my planner. And the way that I use this is I will usually use it first and then write over it because if you um, try and use it over the pen, usually it does smear. So if you like pins that have a really light tip, then this is definitely the one for you. This is the Sharpie pin. I used to love this pin a lot. However, I cannot lie, I do not reach for it that much anymore. I am more um, into the deeper writing pins now, but it's still a great one to have in your collection. The next one is more of a marker. I will use it for like coloring in different things, but it is the mapped graph markers. I believe I got this set from Michaels, but I will check on it later and make sure I put a link to the direct one in my um, description box. And the next pen I actually ended up ordering from overseas. I want to say I got these from Japan um, and they are metallic pens. I really do like to color with these um, because they are lighter than like highlighters or anything like that. They give a really light iridescent look. They are absolutely beautiful. And the next pen that I received, I actually received it as a gift. And these are the Parku erasable pens. Um, I do have an, a video that I did on these and I will link them, the video up above. Um, the only thing about this pen is that sometimes it skips and I am not really big on erasable pens. So I don't pick, up, pick it up that often. The next pin that I have was my absolute favorite pin at one point. This is the Pilot G2 0.7 font uh, pin. I really do love this one. I'm not really sure why I don't use it as much anymore, but I just kind of got away from it. And this is the Sharpie Extra Fine pin. Um, and once again, I don't really reach for it that much anymore. I only reach for it if I need to write on something light, but that doesn't happen often. The next one is another highlighter. This is the Frexon Erasable Highlighter. I picked this set up because it was a recommendation in my comments. However, I have never used them because I'm not really into erasable things. And the next one is my absolute favorite pen at the moment. It is the Papermate Flare Medium Pen. I like this one because it writes like a marker. It's very smooth and it's just perfect on my planner and I love it. And now I'm just showing you the additional pens that I keep just in here um, that I may need at any point in time. I do have a Sharpie. I have my um, Expo washable marker that I use on my board that's right above my desk. So it's my dry erase marker. And the last one is a Tombow pen that I ended up picking up from Michaels one day, but once again, I have not used it as of yet. So 
that is it for my pen collection guys i hope you guys have enjoyed this video and if y'all want to see anything else or if you have any other questions make sure you leave it in the comments below y'all let me know what is your favorite pen to write with have i missed any if i have definitely let me know because i would love to add it to my collection until next time make sure that you follow me on instagram and i'll see y'all in the next video bye guys